Hello, this is Jesus version 2.3 and I have a reason for this video. The reason is to say something to all of you who think you're reasonable. I've posted at a site for Reason Magazine. Their reason for being is selling freedom. I even had a subscription. I've also posted at the site called TheReasonProject.org. Their reason for being is convincing you that they are reasonable and that the experts will know what to do next. I haven't heard back from Reason Magazine, but those folk who have the Reason Project have been confused about what I wrote. And here is what I've told them. My friends, I have received a couple private messages telling me that you are confused about my posts. Somebody has claimed I am trolling, but this somebody doesn't have the balls to confront me. C'est la vie. By the way, I use that term sometimes because I'm French, and I have a card to prove it. Everything I say is the truth, and I have some way to prove it. Have you heard of the movie The Da Vinci Code? Keep that in the back of your mind. I will provide you with only one link, and it is to a video that I hope will make you think. But you just may not be ready for the change. C'est la vie. Maybe I can convince you of what I've written if you will only take the time to comprehend what I have written. Does that make any sense to you? I'm not asking you for anything else but to use your senses, the five that God gave you, and if you have any, your common sense. Many of the links I've provided in the past were put there so that you will understand our common reality. There are links to Wikipedia and links to YouTube one for your mind and the other to reach your soul. I can't force you to follow directions though. C'est la vie. Anyway, here is just another reason why you should listen to me. I think it is time to reveal the reason for the name of my YouTube channel. On channels.nl you may know that my name is Danny Mac, but on YouTube channel I am DM CF NG. I created this name some time ago. It was after my enlightenment, but before I became God's instrument. I'm a simple man, you see, and the letters that you see is my name without some of the letters. It was done in an age, or maybe it's because of my age, when us mind-bending geeks, this is centuries after that mind-expanding Greek, Socrates, tried to conserve our computer's memory. And now the question that is formed by the letters can be revealed for the very first time. D-M-C-F-N-G is the following question. Do men cry out for the nookie or for their God? Now to tell you the truth, I wouldn't ask you this question if in reality I didn't have the answer. That just wouldn't be kosher. So put that thinking cap on. It's time for you to come up with the answer. While we wait, let me tell you this. It's an age-old question, if you just try and think about it, since Adam and Eve were in the garden. By the way, love and me were in the garden too. In the old book and Gabriel's book, God was also there, you see. It's that new book, the one put together by a committee, that is messed up with what you read. By the way, my mother is Gabrielle, and God has always been with her and answered her needs. Now we all say yes to God. There was another man, and his name was Bob. This guy wasn't Gnarly, or even a Barkley. In reality, this man was Bob Marley. And this, I tell you, is also true. The man cried beautiful music for the nookie. I think it got a lot of it, too. And his God. His reason was named Ja, which in German is a definite yes. I was born in Germany, but in my mind, God is reason. When the word forms in my breast, the breath then passes past my lips, and the sound that you hear is Allah. The reason is simple if you would only open your eyes and see. Allah is a reflection of perfection in all its majesty. El is the God of all gods and la is the feminine. When you say, c'est la vie, 
for life would be nothing without love. But in reality, there is another reason. Now that I've told you of these things, the truth of the matter is this. I still can't think of any reason to believe God can be a man. And in reality, there's also no Superman. Get this straight. It's all in your imagination. In this reality, call me Jesus 2.3. And the truth to the matter is that it doesn't matter whether you love me or even just dread me. It isn't me you need to worry about because me and my friends are just trying to survive. Honestly, are you too dumb to figure this out while you are still alive? Now remember what Jim and the door is saying. Nobody gets out of here alive. The question you can ask yourself is which door do you drop through when you're dead? Or will you just sink in the bathtub instead? If any of this still confuses you, simply ask me the questions, since I'm the guy with the answers. Now you all have a nice day. Oh, and by the way, I vote Libertarian, because it is the reasonable thing to do. Best regards, Daniel, a.k.a. Jesus 2.3.